Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the volume of a pyramid. And remember, volume is the amount of space that a 3D figure or object takes up. Now, when it comes to pyramids, we can use the formula one-third times the area of the base times the height. So whatever the base is, a rectangle, a square, a triangle, etc., use the correct formula to find that area and then plug the area of the base into the formula for the volume. Now I do want to mention that you can also use the formula the area of the base times the height and then divide by three because multiplying by one third is the same as dividing by three. Now we'll talk about why we multiply by one third or divide by three after number one. Knowing why we do this will give us a better understanding of the formula. So let's jump into number one where we have a pyramid with a square base and then a height of four inches. So the first thing that we need to do is write out our formula. So volume equals one third times the area of the base times the height. Once we have that, we can plug in. So volume equals one third times the area of the base. Well, we have a square, so we can do six times six to calculate the area of that base. Six times six gives us 36 times the height of four. Now I do wanna mention, we were able to calculate the area of that base using mental math. Don't be afraid to come to the side though in order to write things out or for a more difficult problem. So for example, let's go to the bottom left where we have some room. We could have gone area equals a side length squared. Well, that's the formula for the area of a square and then plug in side length of six squared, which means six times six gives us an area of 36 square inches. So again, don't be afraid to come to the side if you need to calculate something and then plug that area into the formula. So now we're ready to solve one third times 36 times four. Now at this point, you can plug this all into a calculator and solve it all in one step, but I wanna break it down step by step until we get to that final volume. Well, one third times 36, that's going to give us 12 times four to wrap things up here. So 12 times four gives us 48. And this is cubic inches for our unit of measure there. So volume equals 48 cubic inches for our final answer. Now I do wanna show you what the other formula looks like as well for number one. So the area of the base times the height and then divide by three. So we have volume equals the area of the base times the height and divide by three. So let's plug in volume equals the area of the base was 36 times the height of four and divide by three. So I'm running out of room there. I'm going to go to the side in order to solve this. So 36 times four gives us 144 divided by three. And that's going to give us a final answer of 48 cubic inches. So we got the same answer either way as far as those two formulas. So multiplying by one third is the same as dividing by three. Both of those are going to give us the correct volume. Now I do wanna talk about why we multiply by one third or divide by three to help us better understand this formula. So if we take our pyramid, put it in a prism with the same base and height, let me try to draw that so we can visualize what I mean. So a prism with the same base and same height. Now this won't be the best drawing, but I think it will get the point across here. So think of it like putting it in a box with the same exact height and base. So we put the pyramid in a prism, again, with the same base and height. 
that pyramid is going to be exactly one third the volume of that prism. Now we find the volume of a prism by using the formula, the area of the base times the height. So the exact same thing as the pyramid formula, but without the one third or divide by three. And again, we multiply by one third or divide by three because a pyramid is exactly one third the volume of a prism with the same base and height. So let's move on to number two, where we have a pyramid with a rectangular base and a height of 11 meters. And the first thing that we need to do, write out the formula. So volume equals one third times the area of the base times the height. Now we plug in. So one third times the area of the base. Well, we have a rectangle, so we can do length times width. So eight times seven, that gives us 56 times the height of 11 meters. So now we're ready to solve one third times 56 times 11. Now I'm going to do 56 times 11 first for number two. Unlike number one, where we had something compatible with that one third, we had one third times 36 and got a nice clean whole number of 12. In the case of number two, we don't have anything compatible with that one third. So again, 56 times 11 is what I'm going to do first here. And that's going to give us one third times 616. Now one third times 616 is going to give us an answer of 205. And I'm going to round this decimal to the nearest hundredth, 33 hundredths, and this is cubic meters. So our final answer, 205 and 33 hundredths cubic meters. So there you have it. There's how you find the volume of a pyramid. One third times the area of the base times the height or the area of the base times the height and then divide by three. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.